I'm going to show you my replicator brush, and all it simply is, is that. Yes, I know it looks a bit of a stake, but it works really, really well. And all it is, is an old broken brush. And what I've done, I've got a pair of pliers and crimped that metal ferrule. By doing so, it's kind of sprayed out those bristles. Yes, you can use a fan brush as well, but this is my little way of doing it. So I'm going to lower the brush up, like so. If you don't take much of that paint off, you'll end up with quite dark lines, quite thick lines as well. But you can see that when you work with this, you're actually working with two lines in one go. See that? So working with two lines, and it depends actually, they all vary when you make them. You might have three lines, four lines, all varies. And you can see the effects that you get through using this. See what I mean? And that's what I'm working with for this line at the moment. Just adding a few extra details here and there. I tend to use this more for the larger areas, or those areas which I need to fill in, without rushing that painting, remember. Don't rush the painting. 